Your Earl from Embrace and Reborn. Crispy, be quiet. And that's Crispy talking in the back. I'm not doing a change of video today. I just want to do some, show some Happy Meal. And I just want to show um, some things I got. I went to the P.O. Box and I got this beautiful blanket here with the turtle on it. It's green plush. That's for the boys. Greg can hold that one. And I got this beautiful um, cozy plush throw for myself. And this is a unicorn. And this for me and the girls to share. But it's a throw. And I will be using this in Saturday's video. It's a blanket with the unicorns on it. And these came from Auntie San San from San San's Nursery. And everybody know I like anything that sparkles. <laughs> As you see me, a pack of little, little sparkly fitties. You gotta love it. You know, anything with some sparkles on it, it just gets my attention. But I wanted to show those stuff there. And these came from Auntie San San. And also, I'm gonna leave these here. And also, I want to touch base on, you know, y'all excuse the pit bull crying in the back. And for those who want to see who's crying in the back, please follow me on Instagram. Go to my pictures. And y'all will see this nine-month-old puppy. I would have shown y'all on the phone, but the phone just died when me and Ruth was video chatting. And the phone is completely dead, so I can't even pull the picture up to show y'all. And I refuse. To bring that big horse out to get on this video. But anyway, because everybody say, he, he always think it's the little dolls that be crying in, the, in my videos. My Yorkies are in the back of the house. Actually, it's always the pet bull be crying all the time. Because I let the mama out and he's the nine month old puppy. But I showed his pictures on Instagram. And when I showed that, posted that picture, I had a lady um, corresponding back and forth with me. That night, want to know what the, what am I feeding them? What can I what can she do to get her as big like that? And um, I do the only thing different that I do to him is you know I do give them vitamin and calcium and they um, crushed up in their food every day. But other than that, that's it. Those all I think it's just genetics. And the sad thing about as big as he is, because he's bigger than his mom, but there was actually one a little bigger than him. So that thing was sad. And I always tell y'all this thing: this big is a great thing. But that's a big pit bull. You see, he's just nine months old. So if you want to see that picture, my nephew is holding him in the picture so for me to take the picture of him. Go check out crispy nine-month-old picture on my Instagram page. It's embracing rebounds all spelled together. Also, I had a sister call me today from out the community. Because evidently, I, I haven't seen it. Because a lot of stuff that goes on in this community really go over my head. Because... I don't follow up a lot of the um the foolishness and things. But evidently there's a tag going around which I personally don't see nothing wrong with the tag. And the reason I'm gonna touch base on this is because I have I am one that's guilty of calling names out on my video. But like I just said, these came from San Sam, but this is who sent me the love happy meal. So naturally I wanna give her the acknowledgement. I saying thanks to her dolls. But when I did give away the last time, like I say, people that do support my channels, I whether they have content on their page or not, they got their things. And to be honest with you, I still got to go back to the post office because in that giveaway, and it's so sad, and I do apologize, but y'all know I had a lot going on with mom and dad once again. The package is already packed. I need to go. I'm going to try to get those out tomorrow. Um... Because it's hard for me to leave the house if somebody is not here with them. So, uh, if not tomorrow, whenever the nurse comes here to um, take your dad, then I'll run back to the post office. Speaking of post office, uh, and I'm going to get back, though. No, but, yeah, let me get to the post office thing first. When I went back, when the last time I got Happy Meal and I had showed the pictures of the boxes of things that I got on Happy Meal with me putting them in the car on my Instagram page. Well, one of the boxes was a big kids, a parent's choice diapers. But once I got home, 
I realized the diapers didn't have my name on it and it's not my P.O. box. So I put the box back in the car. But like I said, once again, it's hard for me to leave the house if nobody's not here. So today was the first time I've been able to get out because the nurse was here with dad and mom. So I went out to the post office to um, take that box back and, um, and pick up some things. And... The guy was like, where did you get this box from? I said, well, y'all put the wrong box in my peel box. I said, but you know, that day when I came and picked this thing up, I didn't pay attention to the boxes. I just put everything in the car. But when I was got home, I realized the box didn't have my name on it. And me being the type of person that I am, I just, even though, yeah, I got a lot of rebounds and I'm making those that could probably use them diapers. I know somebody else, baby, out here really need those diapers. So I wasn't going to open the box because... Some people might would have taken it as a blessing, but me consciously, I know it wasn't for me. So, and I always say what God has for me is for me. So I took the case of Pampers back. They said, girl, you don't understand the disturbance we had in this P.O. box as of yesterday. The lady came, she already, she even going to get her friend who evidently must be ordered or paid for the Pampers. They've been in the post office carrying on so bad because they, they saw where it was delivered. But the the Pampers wasn't in her P.O. box. To, she, to they tell them they don't have the Pampers. They don't see the Pampers. They don't know what she's talking about. And so she, 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 she taking it above their head. They had the police stand all yesterday for the box of Pampers. And all the time, the Pampers sitting in the trunk of my car. He's like, well, when you get the Pampers? I say, I think it was last week or so. I say, but I just never got back out the house to been able to bring the Pampers back. But I knew it wasn't for me, so that's why I bring the Pampers back today. He said, girl, you don't understand the carrying on and the disturbance we had in this post office with all the police and everything. She hadn't called on us and everything about the Pampers. So they said, they, they just could put a note in her um, P.O. box, tell her, to come get the Pampers, you know, that the, pa the Pampers showed up and for her to um, come in and pick up the Pampers. But it was just a mess. I just wanted to share that story with you guys. But now getting back to the tag. And they had asked another YouTuber to make a video about this here. And saying that on the tag, and I don't know who tag it is, but evidently it's a tag going around. And is asking if you would do a meetup, who would you like to meet? Well, naturally, if you talk to somebody on a regular basis and you've never met them a person, like, and I'm just use this for example, I never met San San a person, and she's the one who sent these things, so that's why I'm using her as an example. We have video chatted each other, we sent pictures to each other, we talk to each other every single day. And um, more than once a day. So naturally, at some time in my life, I would like to meet her in person. So for somebody to say that they call out somebody named saying that they would like to meet that person to tag, I didn't see. I personally didn't see anything wrong with that because there are a lot of YouTubers on my channel, but not even on my channel. There are a lot of YouTubers that I'm subscribed to. I would like to see a lot of them in person someday and do a doll meetup. I've told people plenty of times, y'all get together and like, if you live in Georgia, because what what the surrounding states around me? Georgia, North Carolina, um, Florida. If you want to do a once upon a child meetup, you know, y'all get to, like a group of y'all could have get together and ran a car, a van and run down here and I can meet up with y'all and we could have, I would have take y'all to both of our once upon a child so y'all can see the things that our once upon a child have. And, um... Y'all could have shop for y'all babies. We all could have go out and have lunch. And y'all and everybody head back home. I've I've said that plenty of times on my channel. But of course, you know, nobody never take me up on it. But you never know where somebody might do so. But, um, but so for somebody to come. But so now they're saying, they said to this particular YouTuber that it makes the other people that watch the channel feel less than because their name wasn't being called. Well, this is what I feel. As an adult, um, and they ain't saying that, I know there are a lot of cliques in the community. There are a lot of people that I talk to in the community on a regular basis. There are some people I've never spoken to um, in the community, but they, 
we have corresponded through text message or messenger or whatever the case may be. But as adults, we need to stop weighing our feelings on our shoulders. And, you know, just, it's enough confusion, enough thing going on in this community. We just can't nitpick about everything. Whether you are a big channel or a small channel, because even like me, yeah, I used to watch a lot of big channels when I first came in the community. But now I tr I trying to watch a lot of new channels because I was new. I'm only a year old. So I I'm trying to watch a lot of new channels and support their channels as well. I mean, I can't watch all day, every day like I used to do videos. But do take in consideration. I got two um, parents right now that really needs my care. Because y'all know this. No, I used to be posting videos all the time. I used to do my di um, Disney Monday. I used to do Many Power Tuesday. I did Wednesday, Wednesday. I used to do Theme Thursday. I skipped Friday. Or uh, anything goes Friday. I used to do um, Pajama Saturday. Best Dress Sunday. I used to put a lot of videos out throughout the week. But now you're lucky if you get one a week from me. Because my hands are really full right now. You know, I'm constantly being called to either suction out there, change out tools, change out machines, different things like that. So, you you know, and I always ask everybody to take a lot of that in consideration. You know, because outside of YouTube, we all do have life that goes on outside the dog world or the dog community. But don't ever feel, if you look at my channel and I don't call your name out, or I don't say that. I, well, it's nice. I talk to so and so and so. So don't take offense to that because I'm not saying that to hurt anybody feelings or anything. Because if I had your number, I would gladly talk to you. But uh, uh, you email me and say, Earl, give me a call sometime. I would gladly talk to any I talk to anybody because I got the gift of gab. But um, but don't feel less than if somebody don't call your name out on their channel. And they just probably said a couple of names off the top of their head. Because, like I always say, on when you do a YouTube channel thing, you are what you attract. So if you got a lot of mess on your channels, uh, um, and not saying that you you gotta have mess, but um, you know, people will come and support things. Like if you got a you you speak a lot of positivity, then a lot of positive people would like to be around you, would like to meet you. And so, with that being said. You know, as grown adults, we just can't keep nitpicking about every little thing. Uh, we our feelings on our shoulders. Because I always tell you, as adults, we need to start acting our age and not our shoe size. And don't take offense of anything. It's different if somebody said, I don't want to meet so-and-so. And I don't want to meet so-and-so because of whatever reason. They just said off the top of their head, they had a question. They don't want the video to go that long. And they say, well, I wouldn't mind me. It's, you know, this YouTuber, that YouTuber, and that. And that's one of the reasons I really have want, like to, I have wanted to go to the, you, to the hair, I mean, not the hair, I always say hair show. But the doll show, I'm so used to going to hair shows all the time. Like I told you, I've been doing hair for 20-something years. So, I used to go to hair, a lot of hair shows. But, um, oh, and with that being said, my certificate from my class came in the mail the other day, as well as my license for my cosmetology license as well. And, um, you know, hold on a second. And so, with that being said, I just don't want people to be offended if they don't hear their names in the tags. Because it's not that serious. It's really not that serious. But yeah, this, um, let me cover up my address. Well, I'll turn this one over. But that's my, um, name and address for my South Carolina State Board of Cosmetology license came in the mail there. And that's a certificate from my class I took the other day. Just wanted to share that with you guys. But, um, I just feel that we worried about the wrong stuff. I feel like this here. If everybody take less time being, find, being, a, you know, being offended by something somebody say, instead of, you know, calling one another and talking about this here, 
well, <laughs> and asking somebody else to do a video, if somebody hurt your feelings, just message that person or if somebody say something that offended you, just go to the person and say, well, I think you shouldn't say such and such or whatever, instead of asking somebody else to do your dirty work, basically. But I, I just feel that as an adult, you know, we just need to come in better than that. Take the time, you know, take that time, use that energy to pray for one another. Use that energy to do, bring some more love in the community, instead of so much negativity in the community. And like I say, this doll community is just supposed to be, I assume when I entered the community that it was supposed to be for the love of dolls, not no Pacific kind of doll, not no Pacific artist doll, not rather it's Reebok, Silicon, Rag doll, Barbie doll. I thought it's just for the love of dolls. And if you like Barbies, then you follow people who like Barbies channels. If you like Reborns, then you follow people who like Reborn channel. If you like Masterpiece doll, you follow people who like Masterpiece doll. If you like rag dolls, then they got people who do channels with their rag dolls. You know, or just regular um, nursery dolls, you know, little baby alive, whatever. You know, it's supposed to be for the love of dolls. So, and and we just not only adults in this community, we got a lot of kids in the community. So we need to stay positive on our channels, share positive things on the channel, and just keep a lot of that negativity stuff out of the community because it's not even called for. And I I don't you know I I know for a fact I do have a few kids that do watch my channel that are subscribed to me, and that's why I try to keep things PG most of the time. Every now and then I know I might knock a little crack a joke or say something out of the way if i did i apologize because i know sometimes i do have a slip of the tongue but like i say if i ever said anything for me calling out names on my channel and you did not hear your names call i apologize because i love everybody that loves my channel and the bible says that you're supposed to love thy neighbor so in all seriousness jesus loves you and so do i so just because you may not hear your name thing, don't think that I think less than of you. I don't, or uh, anybody would think less of you because you don't hear your name call. If, like I say, because there's a lot of people that watches my channel and leave comments, and I try to go, you know, like I say, I try to go and support the channels. Some I can get to, some I can't, but I don't think no less than them. Just because I may not know know them by sight or know them by name. Because a lot of people, like right now, I don't know if I'm in the camera or not, to be honest with you. Because um, I always have to set things up to film myself at the end. Like I got a camera person and I don't have a tripod. That's the next thing I need to do. Get me some lights and get me a tripod to hold this thing. But right now, it's just my tablet sitting up on top of a TV tray on top of a box. How you doing? <laughs> It ain't that serious for me. Y'all know, I don't do no editing and that. It's just a straight shooter. I always say what you see is what you get. Take it or leave it. You know, if you don't like my channel, move on to another channel. That's all. But, um, San San, I would like to do say thank you for the, um, beautiful happy meal. These are nice, soft, plushy blankets. I don't, oh, I just really, really love this one. And I'm going to do a unicorn, I'm going to be doing a unicorn sleeper for, um, PJ Saturday, and I'm going to use this blanket here in the background because this is so pretty and soft. And you know I have unicorn pajamas myself. Christy, and I got to tell y'all, I'm tired of y'all trying to bogart my videos. Pull it together. What, Crispy, why we got to have word for word, Crispy? Oh, Lord. And see, Jules knocking on the door. And so I better call this um, video to the end. Here we go. And once again, there goes Crispy. But anyway, this your girl, Earl. <laughs> Crispies. <laughs> Don't laugh, Mom, because it ain't funny. <laughs> Crispy, why are you doing... doing? <laughs> I know, and then if you ain't talking to him, he always got so much to say. What's wrong, Crispies? You want to tell everybody on YouTube hi? You want to say something? Now, see, when I give him the opportunity to say something, he ain't got nothing to say. You want to say hi? What's the matter, Chrissy? She 
Now you don't want to say nothing to anybody. You had your cameo. Well, anyway, this is your girl Earl from Embrace and Reborn. As always, thanks for watching. This, I just had to charge my phone. This is the puppy that y'all be hearing in the background. That's Crispy. That's Jules' puppy at nine months old. And I say a puppy because technically he's still a puppy. But that's the puppy there that been crying in my video. But just wanted to touch me and show y'all that. Thanks for watching.